In the past two days, nearly 20 historically black colleges and universities received bomb threats, and that includes three here in Georgia, with Spelman College targeted once again today. The threats come as Black History Month begins today, leading to additional questions about who could be behind the threats and their possible motivation. Joe Hinkey reports. Classes continue to as normal here at Spelman College today after that bomb threat came in around three this morning. It's the second bomb threat now against Spelman in under a month and the college's president says she has talked with Atlanta's mayor and Georgia's two senators about campus security. Spelman College students Tuesday headed to class, but with a sense of worry in mind. Really concerned actually. I don't even want to really go to class today. Of course, it makes me nervous, especially since we we're in class. On Monday, at least a half dozen historically black colleges and universities received bomb threats, including Georgia's Albany State University. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki. Say, um, that these are certainly disturbing, uh, and the White House is in touch with the interagency partners, including federal law enforcement leadership on this. Then today, at least a dozen HBCU campuses received new threats, including two schools here in Georgia, Fort Valley State and Spelman College. At Spelman College, no devices were found after Atlanta police and the GBI searched the campus, according to information released by the college, but the situation is still troubling to students. Pretty sure Howard received one yesterday. Nothing happened, but at the same time, it's very concerning because why are we receiving bomb threats for what we are just students trying to go get our education. This afternoon, Spelman's president, Mary Schmidt Campbell, released this letter. She wrote, these threats are despicable. They are designed to make us feel fearful and vulnerable. Schmidt Campbell added after threats against HBCUs on Monday, Senator John Ossoff reached out to the college offering his support. Today, Senator Raphael Warnock said he would engage the director of the FBI to conduct an investigation as well. Spelman's president says she has also talked with Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens. In Atlanta, police increased patrols around the HBCU campuses of Spelman, Clark Atlanta, and Morehouse. And the FBI tonight confirms it is aware of the series of bomb threats made against HBCUs and is working with law enforcement, but no further details of any investigation have been released. In Atlanta, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News.